Hello, this is Ivan Verdugo and today I'm going to show you how to do this. This is is LED light control from Ableton Live. So the things that we are going to need for this is obviously Live, Ableton Live. Uh, we also need the Max for Live application and two packs from Ableton that you can get them for free one of them is the max for life essentials and the other one is the connection kit both of them and both of them made by Ableton so after you install both of the packs you will also need the Arduino IDE uh, and we have to uh, we need a couple of LED lights they are really really cheap and easy to use and not dangerous and an Arduino board this one is the Arduino Uno which is the cheapest one and the uh, most simple version of the Arduino Okay, so we are here in our Arduino IDE and we have to go to the examples Firmata, which is a firmware that uh, Arduino provides to, to interact with other applications. So we are going to select the standard Firmata. After that we can select the kind of Arduino that we have and it's connected on the e uh, USB port so now we upload the Firmara so it's compiling, uploading and we don't really need to program here just upload this code to the Arduino okay and we're all set so you have now to hook up your LED to your Arduino uh, the longest side of the LED is going to be hooked up to the 11 tilde pin and the shorter side is going to the ground pin of your Arduino. As you can see, Arduino has digital and analog uh, pins and some others that are labeled ground. Uh, analog pins are mostly used to detect uh, things or to connect sensors to them. We're not going to see that in this class but uh, the other side is the, the one that we're going to use now the digital side okay because we need what is called pulse width modulation uh, which is a square wave that are doing all, uh, outputs and the width of that square wave is going to control the dimming of the light so First we need an audio track with some different loops. Uh, here I have four of them. The first four are warped, the last one is not. Okay, so 
we have to create a MIDI channel. I already had one, but I'm going to do it all, all over again. So we need a MIDI channel, and you have to explore into your Max for Live uh, objects after you have installed the the packs. You're going to see that uh, there is the Arduino object from the uh, Ableton connection kit. So I'm just going to drag and drop it to my MIDI cha channel. And as you can see, it has already read my uh, Arduino port as it did in the Arduino IDE before here, remember? Here. So we select the same port. If it doesn't appear, you can just rescan and choose it again. And as I said, we are going to use the digital side. We're, uh, we have our LED on our uh, 11 pin, 11th pin, and we're going to use pulse width modulation technology for this. So now it's already hooked up, and what we need is some knobs to map so I'm going to put here an audio effect rack just to use an empty one just to use the knobs so now I map this knob to this I mean this parameter to this knob and as you can see as I take the knob up it's dimming the light up and as I dim it uh, take it down it's dimming the light off okay so, uh, that gives, gives me a really huge opportunity here, which is that I can now make envelopes for my... For example, I'm going to do an envelope here that turns the light on every, every downbeat, and it does a fade in the end of the loop. So, let's check it out. Nice. You could make, for example, different envelopes for each one of the of your loops. And that makes actually a very good effect. So as I change my loops, the lighting also changes. But what if, what if you don't have much time to plan your light show and you need it really fast? There's another option that you can also take. I'm going to erase these envelopes. Well, this is also MIDI mappable with command M. You just MIDI, uh, MIDI map it as you always would. And you could dim the light with your MIDI controller okay but the thing that I am aiming to here is the envelope follower envelope follower it's a max for live object that converts audio into an envelope signal taking its dynam dynamics see So, the way to use it is to map the envelope follower to the uh, knob that would you would like to control. So now, as you can see, I don't have any envelopes programmed here, and the light follows the music. But it's kind of boring because it's not being uh, I mean the transients are a little bit uh, a little bit weak so we could help ourselves with a gate now we have the transients there but 
we don't have really the the control we want because it altered the audio so now I'm going to group these two into an audio effect rack mute this chain and just create another one which will contain the original audio so what if I would like to let's say light and sound what if I would like to control, uh, for example, that the light only turns on with the low frequencies? You could do that with uh, an EQ. I usually actually use an auto filter with a bandpass filter configuration and die, for example. There's just the bass. And there is just the pebbles. See, there's the snare drum. Well, I could also tell you a little trick that is that you can make as many copies of this as you want, and you can map as many envelope followers as you want to all of your Arduino outputs. The only limit that you have is that um, most Arduinos don't have that many pulse width modulation outputs. This one only has six, but I think six lights, it's pretty cool though. Well, that's it with this uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoy uh, your light control from Ableton Live and the chance to use the session view which is a really really useful tool for music to also control lights. In a next episode I'm going to teach how to control LED strips with our already made setup. Thank you and have a good one. Goodbye.